Hey guys, it's Neversync and I want to give you a quick rundown of the new filter blade features on the filter blade. Uh, so let's start. First of all, filter blade is now blue. Yep, that's right. Uh, it's a new style, it looks somewhat different. I actually like it a lot more. Uh, tell me what you think. It also has a lot of GGG-like style pieces. So yeah, that's also quite nice, I think. Anyway, uh, up, let's go to the next feature. Uh, if you go to Delve, and then fossils. Um, you can click on auto sort by price and click on highlight by price. And this is very useful if you're playing in a certain league or want to see your fossils automatically in a certain way. It's the same feature that you already use for currency, unique items, and divination cards. So let's make a quick example fossils, auto sort by price, execute, and now everything is sorted according to the um, hardcore economy. Right, next feature. The search box has been improved. Let's say you want to add an animated item box. Ah, well, no. So if you type animal, you can jump there and activate it easily. Now we also have the color box. If you are restyling the filter, let's say you want to reuse the currency styles. So now you can copy several of them. I know. And you can now go to the nation cards. You can quickly paste them here. Let's give those to this style. This one gets this one. And finally, we can do this one as well. That's a quite a useful feature. And you see, we quickly restyled our filter into a different system. Okay, next up is the mark feature. If you find yourself jumping a lot between different sections, you can mark them and you can quickly jump between them. Uh, it's nothing fancy, but it's quite useful. Next up, we have those minimizer boxes. You can click the minuses at the side to minimize certain parts of the customizer. This is especially useful if you keep dragging and dropping things from one tier to another. I don't want the tiers in between to disturb you. You can also right click something and click on Maximize O and Minimize O to do it quickly. The right click has also other features, such as send something directly to a different tier, which is very useful if you are sending something over across filter blade. And you can also jump to the room from the uh, simulator or from the overview screen. Right, next up, it's not exactly a filter blade feature, but the shape and elder tiering system has been reworked. I've spent a lot of time to uh, build up this data mining pipeline that actually can create a very uh, accurate representation of the current economy for shape and elder items. So here it is. It's actually quite hard to explain. I should probably make a different video about it, but trust me, it's much more accurate than anything I've seen and certainly much more accurate than the uh, previous version of my builder wants a lot of stuff here. Right, uh, finally, we, there's also a lot of other features, but I don't want to make the video too long. Finally, I want to show you something I am sure you guys will be quite happy to see. Now, just in case you're afraid to do a certain mistake while editing the filter, like something like hiding a mirror of Calandra. And if you accidentally do it, if you now go to download, you will see mirror of Calandra is hidden. So if you try hiding something expensive or doing something stupid let's say hiding a fishing rod you will be informed uh, about it on the download screen this applies to around 50 different uh, items and 50 different rules so um, filter blade is now even more secure than before anyway guys that covers it i apologize for the echo in my room i recently moved to a different town new job Took me a while to get settled, to get used to all the new stuff. That's why the, I was also a bit less active recently. But I'm super hyped for betrayal. Also, this is not the betrayal update, this is a preparation for the betrayal update. There will be another filter and filter update update in one week. Anyway, that's all. Um, thanks for watching and happy hunting exercise.